Okay, today we're going to um, use a UNet booked in on Linux. Okay, so we've plugged in our USB stick and we need to format it to FAT32. So we click on start and type in disks or disk or disks, whatever it is on US. Come down to our thumb drive and we can see that it's SDD1. We click on mount. And go over to more actions, click format, and then we can see that it's formatted. Uh, do we want the format as FAT32? Click format and confirm. Once it's finished, then you need to remount the disk. So click on the, on the mount, and you can see that the disk will pop up when it's empty, clear. We can, uh, we can X that off and X the disks off. Next, we're going to start UNet boot in. Okay, so go to the menu. Type in UNet boot in. Click on it or select it. Put in your root password. And your netboot in starts automatically. Okay, now we're going to leave the top section alone because we don't need to use it. I'm going to choose a disk image. So click on the chooser, click on computer, and go to backslash, which is your root file system. Click on home, your username, downloads, and then choose a disk to burn. I'm going to burn. Uh, P magic, partition magic. Now you can choose any ISO you want in any location, okay? Doesn't have to be in downloads. Now in this section, if we fill this section in, it'll give us persistence on uni uh, on um, Ubuntu based um, distros, any Linux that's based on Ubuntu, could be Mint or could be several others, okay? But if we don't put anything in there, we don't get any persistence. Now uh, we need to check this because we can see it is set to SDC1, which we know is wrong. It's SDD1 is our disk. Click OK. And it starts to burn the image. OK. Installing the bootloader. So then it comes up with an error or it's a warning. And click Yes to All. It doesn't always do that. And it gives you a choice do you want to reboot now? Or do you want to exit? And it's telling you to check uh, to choose USB in the boot option menu when you restart. Okay, that's it.